Alrighty, in this video, I will be showing you guys how to use pop fe slash ps3 ps3 to create um, ps1 package files from your legally burned games using something like image burn etc uh, to download these games and put them in to uh, a package and then back onto your uh, homebrewed ps3 um, so first we will pick a game uh, I will be doing Legend of the Dragoon with its four discs. However, um, Pop PS or Pop FE PS3 will allow you to do stuff like these multi-track games. Um, so as you can see, I have two Tales of Destiny. It's a multi-disc game, but it also has multi-track. Um, no matter what, the process is the same because it will allow you to. Um, It'll allow you to do the same thing with the game no matter what. Um, always make sure though you do have this open. You do want this command prompt open. This is going to tell you exactly what Pop FE PS3 is doing because it is it is going to go into saying that it's not responding, but that just means that it's trying to do this stuff over in this command window and pull all these files into Pop FE. So first we will go into, I have it set up to my PlayStation um, ISOs. So first you will always want to click the Q file for the, the disc, the game that you want. So for Legend of the Dragoon, it has a disc one bin. Always click the disc one Q. So we'll see disc one Q and we're gonna hit open here. Sorry, open. And once you hit open, it's gonna go into like i said that not responding um it is definitely responding don't stop don't get worried um it's just trying to pull the uh bin file and q file together to create a disc um the first the first disc is always going to be the worst and when you actually create that package those are going to be your longest setups here because the first one is it's not only trying to see it's taking your MD5 to make sure that this game is actually right. Um, and it also pulls, as you can see, pictures. So you have your icon for the um, XMB. This will show up for the game that you're looking. It has the PlayStation and the logos and stuff. Um, every PS1 game that I own and ripped it will let you do this. It'll automatically bring up these pictures um, and allow you to see Legend of the Dragoon here. This is the title that will come up when that happens. Um, this is also the back pick. Um, this is, will also add your title. Um, I don't want it all in caps. So I'll just, oops, sorry, we'll just And then we'll do that and that will change the title so whenever you do click this thing um, in your xmb it'll say legend of the dragoon and then pop this up in the right hand side of your screen you can also do what's the snd0 which is just the music for it um, we'll go and do our second disc always go to the q file the thing here is is that this will this top one is technically disk zero. Um, I've never had an issue with it. You can just pop it in and it'll be disk zero, one, two, three, four, but you can normally do four uh, disks with this. Um, again, I have I always use disk disk zero, disk one, disk two, you know, disk three, but it'll be one, two, three, four. Uh, as it again tries to make sure it gets the MD5 fingerprint and bring all of the extra little bits and pieces onto one disc to pull it all together. Uh, same thing, see MD5 fingerprint now pops up and you will also see that famous not responding here, which is fine, it is doing its job. Um, and then we also have other um, options here if you so wish I will go over that so I just did my disk 2 so now we'll do disk 3 and load so now this 
there's something called directory and file. We'll go over that when I do finish up this. So you also have the options to disable these. If you want to disable the music here, um, you can also find the music on YouTube, which is normally what I do. I just click that. Uh, you can disable that. You can disable this picture. You can disable both of these pictures. The icon will always show up though, so that you can actually see the um, icon. However, the only other option is you can use a disk scan. So if you have a scan of the disk, you get normally just a little circle or however so you wish. You can also use the back cover as picture one, but normally the picture one is this title. So it's up to you unless you, again, want to change these pictures to whatever you want. Um, encoding is a data track. I am not sure what that does. However, I do believe that just means that it's not a playable track. It just kind of condenses everything down into just a data package instead. Um, you can also force it to be uh, a PAL edition of the game for Europe. Uh, if you do have issues with um, your system not reading, say, something like a Japanese game, or um, because the Japanese and European games don't always work on a PS3, that if you do have a US PS3, um, it technically, the discs in Japanese can still be region locked. Um, some people say that it still works, but I have run into a lot of these PS1 games that I did have in Japanese that I used to play on a Japanese PS1 doesn't work on my PS3 running a uh, hen. I'm not sure if custom firmware can do that. Um, I pretty sure it does allow you i do know you can play burned ps1 discs but i definitely prefer them as packages because you know eventually a disc is going to wear out you can always choose to take these files once you have them and turn them into these bin q files and then just slam them onto cd discs if you do ever want to back it up on physical media however these files aren't going anywhere um, all of the files on my computer that I have burned from my legally obtained disks, um, I can already have them backed up. And if I do, I can just put them onto a CD disk, but I prefer them as these files here. Uh, once this loads up here, you also want this option right here, enable swap disk. You don't need to do this for a single disk PS1 game. But if you do have these multi-disc games like I'm showing you right here, you do need to have disc in a, uh, enable swap of disc. Otherwise, once you hit that logo that says, please insert disc 2, please insert disc 3, or whatever, it will not allow you to switch the disc. The option in the PS3 when you press the PS button in this game will not show, and you won't be able to do so. Um... I also like, again, to just hit try to find the uh, audio on YouTube. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. Um, again, it's literally just music. It, it just adds to it. So you can also now, once we have all four of our discs, like I said, this will be disc zero, but it's also can just be disc one. Disc uh, one is disc on disc, uh, disc two is on the disc one slot. You'll see in this little left-hand window once I do this. I do want my directory file to just be my ISOs. You can always create whatever file you wish, but I highly recommend creating a file for these. And then you can also rename the package here. And now that we have this file and it's all set, this will be what the package is named. And then we should have in this corner here. Ah, I accidentally made it too small, sorry. Uh, create package and clear. Clear will toss everything of this out. You don't want to do that unless you somehow messed up and put the wrong disk somewhere. Um, so what we'll do here is now create package. And this is where this little left hand window comes into play because it tells you exactly where everything's coming, where everything's going, 
how it's creating these eBoots into these discs so that they're playable, I will click pop PS3, uh, FE PS3, and as you can see, it says not responding. That is okay. Do not, do not clear, do not close. If you close this left window here, all of this will be done. It'll just take everything down and you won't be able to, you'll have to restart pop uh, FE PS3 and do all of this over. I actually accidentally did that with um, my first couple games. And also when I tried to do my first video about this, I had to completely close everything out because um, in my previous video, like I said, I have to use my phone to download all this because not only can I not um, do playback on my PS3 to show you the downloading through the PS3, I have to download with my phone or video with my phone. I can't get my very, very old and junky PC to do um, a capturing of the screen. When the last time I tried to do any capturing of the screen, it just completely froze and messed everything up on my computer. So unfortunately, we'll just do it with my phone here. So this process, though, will take considerably longer from what I've found doing all of my games here. Um, I do have other games on PS1 that I do need to burn from my discs to these bin Q files and put them in my ISOs. I did do it with a couple games already. Um, I have them in actually my PS2 game folder. Um, if I pull that up, because I was just trying to do like, again, something like this, my Musashi game. Uh, but again, I recommend putting them all into one file because you don't have the same issue that you would oops that you would have with um sorry i opened the wrong command prompt uh you don't have the same issue that you do with ps2 gy ps2 gy unfortunately will um just create an iso.bin.enc um which is playable through the ps2 classics emulator um you have to have it named just iso.bin.enc to work with this you do not so now all of this stuff comes pretty quick on this left hand side in this command prompt window for pop fe dot uh ps3 exe um the create package here will take quite a long time especially with these multi-disc games yours might be quicker because i have Again, a very old, very bad PC with barely any memory left. So I'm really just kind of running whatever I can. It works perfectly fine for all of this. You just need to understand that this will take a while. Do not exit out. Do not close. Do not get frustrated. Even if you come into the folder of where you have your ISOs and stuff, Eventually, it will create a package file in this area. Um, do not close it. Do not do anything like that. It will tell you once it's done creating this package, a wall of text will pop up essentially telling you all of the data that was packed into it and all the extra little bits and pieces for this file log in case anything does go wrong during this package making process. Um, like I said, same thing, it will tell you that you can enable disk swap for all your disks. It gets the game ID, which is getting these config files for the first disk and then so on and so forth. Same thing, injects the magic word into these disks, allowing them to be playable. And again, it also does all of this like using the UR to turn uh, the user directory and where it's doing all this stuff to create an iso.bin.dat file which is how it will allow you to play these ps1 games on your ps3 as if you downloaded them off the ps store all right we are back and this is why it's so important that you make sure you keep this all loaded up 
not just because the game literally will not turn into a package if you do not keep this um, little command prompt window open it is finished as it I said now a bunch of um, text has popped up here your item count head size blah 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 um, and license that it'll essentially use to physically play this game um, as if it were on the PlayStation Store so you can just hit continue and now everything everything on the left hand side or the right hand side has now completely been cleared and your package is ready so if we look into the ISOs folder we got right down here at the bottom it says the legend of dragoon in package so now you can just take this um, entire package and either FTP it or if you wish you can just put it on a fat32 flash drive and do it how you would normally install a package file i'm not going to do that in this video because i already did it in the last video and it was a much longer video more in depth about some of that other stuff but yeah as long as you can just run this with package manager via hen or your uh, custom firmware you are good to go and then you can just play your ps1 i'm actually going to go to my ps3 and not show you this package file but i do have other ps1 package files Alrighty, so as you can see this is a couple of the games here that i have made into package files and put on my ps3 through the package manager um all of which do work and they do have to have the ps1 memory card the only one that i did get off the shop was this one however all of these other games are games that i have legally obtained and i put through the uh pk or pop fe ps3 and got them to work so hold on i'll open one of them and as you can see it will start to load on up there and you get that nice PlayStation start. And as you can see, it loads up just like any other game here. If you just press start, you can just start it. And this will pretty much work with uh, all PS1 games as all the PS3s are uh, backwards compatible um, versus only certain models of the PS3 are PS2 backwards compatible. You can play pretty much every single PS1 game on PS3 off of the disc However, like I said, I would much rather just, instead of the disc eventually going bad and burning out my laser or something on my PS1, I can just put them into a file on my computer and always have that data whenever I need it. Uh, Alright guys, there you go. Easy peasy.